The Moffats in video form right there on Much Music and uh, live in the Much Music environment are the Moffats. Um, are you okay out there? Hello. Are y'all doing out there? Can you, they, they won't listen to me. Can you just tell them to take a step back? Can yeah, you guys like, please take look a step back? It's for your best. Step back. It's for your so, so then they search forward. They're stepping forward. Okay, let's do some reverse psychology. Everybody take a step. No, that's not going to work. Um, <laughs> You know what I want to ask about right there is uh, we, we alluded to the fact that there's going to be a Moffat's movie in the future. But uh, before we get to that, I remember reading, I forget who it was in the band that said, you have a lot of goals, both within music and I guess beyond music as well. I'm just wondering what some of those goals are and if one of them was a movie maybe. Well, you know, I think acting is definitely something we'd like to try out. This won't necessarily be like we're going to try and be actors. We're going to be ourselves in the movie. We're not going to be like try and be the next big actor like thing, you know. It's, Parker, yeah. Exactly. But we're going to... I like to try producing other acts, you know, doing stuff like that. Um, just evolving as a musician. Um, you never know what can come up in the future. So. I agree. I agree, yeah. I mean, it's going to be cool. You know, is, is there a script at this point? There's actually... Um, there's a script. He asked for a script. We just read through this, this kind of an idea. It's sort of like, you know, when you read, a, you read about a movie, there's only like two lines that tells you about the whole movie. So we've kind of read about that. This kind of brings in the whole idea of the movie, but there's not a script, you know, completely They're just working yet. on that right now. Um, what, what could you compare it to? Jane Stevenson in The Sun, I remember, described it as almost, or said that it was almost going to be like a Hard Day's Night, not a Spice exactly. Girls kind of movie. Exactly. Something like a Hard Day's Night or Spinal Tap even. Yeah. We like actually, that, like in the last... And roll movie. Spinal Tap was great. Yeah. In the last few days, we've been watching all the Beatles movies, Help, Hard Day's Night, you know, all the movies, just to see what this like, you know. I'm sorry, what? I, I can't hear you, I'm sorry. Do you want to take a question? You know what? Um, because you're making so much noise and, and, and you want the attention, we're going to give you some attention. Do you, do you have a question? Hi, I'm Michelle from Saga. It's my friend Chrissy. And we wanted to know what your musical influences were when you were younger and if they're still the same now. Well, um, over the last few years, our influences have changed drastically, actually. Um, right now, we're listening to stuff like Nirvana. Uh, let's see, The Beatles. I'm a big Radiohead fan. What about you? I like Foo Fighters a lot. I like Aerosmith and The Beatles. I like Brian Adams. Um, Brian Adams, Canadian. A Canadian. Now, these people here, um, well, you can see the reaction when they meet you or when they see you. Have you guys met your idols at all at this point? Um, well, uh, let's see, Garth Brooks, we met him a few times. He's a great guy. Um, As a matter of fact, one really cool thing that we should mention, actually, there's um, Kokomo for Kosovo. There's a big show for the, the Beast Boys are doing, and there's like three acts that are playing on the show, and one of them being the Beast Boys, and another one, I don't know who the other band is, and we're also playing on the show. And Shania Twain and um, who else? Hootie and the Blowfish are going to be there, so it's yeah. going to be really cool very for cool us. Very cool show. Now, you, the reaction that you get, you know, a lot of screaming, sometimes fainting, people crying, I guess you would know sort of not, or how not to act when you, when you meet your idols. Um, what would you say to someone like Errol Smith or Truthfully, Dave Grohl, for instance? We, we met Vince Gill when we were big Vince Gill fans, right? We walk on the bus, and he's talking to us, but we won't say a word. We're like a nervous wreck. And same thing when we met Garth Brooks. You know, it took us about two, two times to meet him until we started to talk to the guy, right? So for us, if we, if we were to meet like Ringo Starr or George Harrison or Paul McCartney, we would probably just stand there, you know, just be freaking out. This is like a legend for us. And so. later on down the road, we'll say, "Hey, we talked to George Harrison, and really we didn't see." We it partied away. with him, man. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Um, we have another phone call, I think, right now. Uh, hello, caller, are you there? Yeah. What is your name? Alex. Allie. Alex. Oh, hi, Alex. You want to say going? hi to the Moffats? Hi. How are you doing? Good. Um. My question is, uh, how come you guys always talk about love and stuff? Why do you guys talk about love and stuff? On the, on the record, a lot of references to love and well, missing you. And I mean, really, just because we write a lot of songs about love doesn't mean that we've completely experienced everything there is to know about love. I mean, it's, it's an easy topic to write about. When you, when you write about songs, you see movies, you listen to other songs, and you just get ideas, and it's just a natural you know, thing. I mean... Just having a friendship could, you know, be a different type of love. It just depends. So you get your ideas from movies? You got ideas from depends. everything. I mean, it's from personal experiences, from just thoughts, and you know, that we think up, from, you know, just uh, basically a storyline from, from whatever, you know. We just take ideas from whatever we can get. 
Thank you, Alex. Thank you very Thank much. You. Okay. Thank you. So, are what you're trying to say is, is you're all single right now? Oh yeah, yeah. we're all single. See, girls, you have a chance. They're all single. Yeah, you, you have a lot of volunteers out there. I think. Cool. I'm going to say thank you very much for being here. Have thank fun you. tonight. Tonight in Toronto would be Wednesday at the Molson Amphitheater. I think we have the dates for the rest of Canada uh, on your screen real soon. Right now, we're going to end up with uh, Girl of My Dreams. So thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Appreciate Cheers. it. Thanks. Be safe. Safe travels. They're, they're all single.